According to TxDOT, 66% of pedestrian fatalities and injuries occur at night. I'm Tony Hadamil, your Southside Neighborhood News Reporter, and I'll fill you in on the where and the stats TxDOT walks me through. There were 19 pedestrian serious injuries last year in Corpus Christi, and unfortunately, there were eight pedestrian fatalities. I shared these statistics with some neighbors on the south side. It doesn't surprise me. Why not? Uh, just, I don't know, you just you just have careless drivers nowadays. Very close calls, because like I said, when they'll be trying to beat the traffic, when we try to turn, we're turning right here, they'll try to beat traffic. And we'll be like, is you going to stop or are you going to go? They'd be like, right this close. Robert Walton prefers to walk to get around. He said he notices a lot of distracted drivers. No texting and driving law was put to good use, and a lot more people need to need to pay attention to that because, I mean, that's what's causing a lot of the accidents. Seasonal change is one of the biggest reasons October is a dangerous month for pedestrians. So the fall and winter months usher in shorter days and less light. Uh, drivers may struggle to see pedestrians in the lower light conditions. That includes using crosswalks, flashlights, and reflective gear when possible. And one more tip. Pedestrians also need to make on eye contact with drivers. You need to look at the driver, make sure they see you. Don't assume that they're going to stop for you. Texas officials say there's a new state law that says if a driver hurts a pedestrian who's in a crosswalk, that driver is liable for a state jail felony. From the South Side, I'm your neighborhood news reporter, Tony Hadamio, Chris 6 News.